Good Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation with Eddie News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Tuesday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Saganovich, and in today's entertainment spotlight, you being part of my conversation with author, motivational speaker, and entrepreneur Sandra Cheney. You don't want to miss that. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation with Eddie News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Tuesday headlines in Mississippi news. COVID-19 ICU patients declining in Mississippi, state health officer says on Monday. The number of COVID-19 patients in Mississippi hospital ICUs is declining, but there is still a substantial number of new hospital admissions, according to the state's health officer. And more personal tragedy to come, Dr. Thomas Dobbs said in a tweet on Monday. Dobbs said Plan A is to get the vaccine, and Plan B is to get the antibody treatment that can help patients who have tested positive for COVID-19 and have mild to moderate symptoms or those who may be at higher risk for severe illness. More than 2.8 million vaccinations have been administered in Mississippi, and more than 1.3 million people are fully vaccinated in the state, according to the Mississippi State Department of Health. Booster shots are now available through county health department clinics, physicians, and pharmacies. Mississippi State Department of Health officials said as of Friday, 55,306 third doses have been administered. Mississippi reported 1,561 new cases of COVID-19 on Monday and 42 additional deaths during a three-day period from October the 1st through October the 3rd. In a related story, doctors grow frustrated over COVID-19 denial and misinformation. The COVID-19 patient's health was deteriorating quickly at a Michigan hospital, but he was having none of the doctor's diagnosis. Despite dangerously low oxygen levels, the unvaccinated man didn't think he was that sick and got so irate over a hospital policy forbidding his wife from being at his bedside that he threatened to walk out of the building. Dr. Matthew Tronsky didn't hold back in his response. You are welcome to leave, but you'll be dead before you get to your car, he said. Such exchanges have become all too common for medical workers who are growing weary of COVID-19 denial and misinformation that have made it exasperating to treat unvaccinated patients during the Delta-driven surge. The Associated Press asked six doctors from across the country to describe the types of misinformation and denial they see on a daily basis and how they respond to it. You can read it at apnews.com. In more national news... Henrietta Lacks Estate sues company using her stolen sales. The estate of Henrietta Lacks sued a biotechnology company on Monday, accusing it of selling sales that doctors at Johns Hopkins University took from the black woman in 1951 without her knowledge or consent as part of a racially unjust medical system. Tissue taken from the woman's tumor before she died of cervical cancer became the first human sales to be successfully cloned. Reproduced infinitely ever since, HeLa cells have become a cornerstone of modern medicine, enabling countless scientific and medical innovations, including the development of the polio vaccine, genetic mapping, and even COVID-19 vaccines. Lax cells were harvested and developed long before the advent of consent procedures used in medicine and scientific research today, but lawyers for her family say the company has continued to commercialize the results well after the origins of the HeLa cell line became well known. And more national news, Biden tells GOP to get out of the way on debt limit. President Joe Biden on Monday urged Republican senators to get out of the way and let Democrats suspend the nation's debt limit, hoping to keep the U.S. government from bumping dangerously close to the credit default as Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell refuses to lend his party's help. Biden's criticism came with Congress facing an October 18th deadline to allow for more borrowing to keep the government operating after having accrued a total public debt of $28.4 trillion. The House has passed a measure to suspend the debt limit, but McConnell is forcing Senate Democrats into a cumbersome process that could drag on and approach the deadline with little margin for error. Both Biden and McConnell have promised that the country will avoid default, yet the public fight and political posturing risk an economic meltdown. The global economy relies on the stability of U.S. Treasury notes. An unpaid debt could crush financial markets and hurl America into recession. In technology news, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram suffer worldwide outage. Facebook, along with its Instagram and WhatsApp platforms, suffered a worldwide outage on Monday that extended much of the day. Facebook's internal systems, used by employees, also went down. The company did not say what might be causing the outage, which began around 11.40 a.m. Eastern on Monday. 
websites and apps often suffer outages of varying size and duration, but hours-long global disruptions are rare. And finally in entertainment news, William Shatner will fly to space aboard Blue Origin rocket. Captain Kirk is rocketing into space next week, boldly going where no other sci-fi stars have gone. Jeff Bezos' space travel company, Blue Origin, announced on Monday that Star Trek actor William Shatner will blast off from West Texas on October the 12th. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tagamas. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Be a source of inspiration for others. Every one of us has the ability to be a source of inspiration for others. An encouraging word from you or just being supportive by listening can make a profound difference in the life of another. All of us have wisdom that can benefit others, including ourselves. By allowing yourself to be confident, you can give others insight to create a better life. You can also be an inspiration for others to be their best self. Remember, anytime you inspire someone else, you are uplifting the collective energy for all of us. Today, be a source of inspiration for someone else as you enjoy the day. Sandra Cheney is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight. We're here on Conversation Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Author, motivational speaker, and entrepreneur Sandra Cheney joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about her journey this year and what it's been like for her to do work that she loves. Here's a bit of our conversation. So what has it been like for you in the whirlwind we've been living in with the pandemic and everything else going on, well, Sandra, to be able to find peace and doing work that you love and, and being able to help others. So it's interesting you, you said finding peace because that is what I had to do was mm-hmm. to um, find peace even in 2020 and getting into 2021 because when you blink, it's here. And I had yeah. to figure out, so what am I doing now with myself? Because even though we're in 2021, 2022 is getting ready to hit. And I yeah. had to look back and and, and determine um, what was going to be different this time for me. Like, how am I going to make this different? And I think finding the peace. I had to first find peace within myself. I had to be okay with the world as I know it is no longer here, that the world yeah. is different. And then I had to be able to translate that into what I do in terms of my writing, in terms of first filling my cup and and, and finding my truth now, because what is my truth now that it seems different to me? Um, and, and then going forward, how do I help the people that I love? And how do I help them to be okay with, no, it, it really is going to be all right. We just going to have to tweak a few things here and there, but we got this. So I had to first figure it out for myself. And I think the peace, what you just said was finding my peace. And that and that balance for myself and being truthful. If it sucks, it sucks. Like yeah. literally, it's okay to, to, to feel your, what you feel and then keep it moving. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. But we have you guys on tomorrow for more news, Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Saganovich, and of course your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.